Hello, Internet. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay over the sound of my very loud dishwasher in the background. Um, uh, so I do my best to catch you up. Since the last video, um, I did get a hold of the uh, nurse practitioner from the liver doctor's office. Um, and I was explaining my situation about being bloated and, um, and needing to get like uh, caught up on, on getting drained out, um, and the whole situation of the bottles. Um, and, uh, she said, uh, well, how about Friday you come in, we'll, uh, we'll drain you completely, uh, give you an IV with fluids and, uh, proteins and enzymes, whatever else, whatever else you need. Um, and then, and then you, and we'll, we'll send you home with some, with some more bottles. Um, see my Um, so that's what we did. Um, and it definitely helped a lot. Uh, I don't have the, that pressure, uh, inside of me as, as much now. And I can just maintain that at home, uh, with, uh, just, you know, draining, uh, occasionally. Um, what else? I've just been incredibly tired, like all week long. I have spent a lot of time in bed. Part of the problem is that I just am not getting sleep. I toss and turn a lot. I'll doze, like maybe get kind of asleep, but not really. Um, or I'll just lie in bed just waiting for my uh waiting for me to fall asleep and it just doesn't happen so there's been a few times when i've i've been like just too exhausted to do anything and i crawl into bed and i'm just lying there and nothing happens it's frustrating because i'm just so tired i don't understand why i can't just get a nice normal amount of sleep um but i just don't have the energy for anything else and I, I, I'll get up, I'll eat something, I'll drink something. I'm trying to stay hydrated. It's really, really hard. Like, I, I feel very dry. My, you can hear it in my voice. My voice is dry, my mouth is dry, my lips are dry. I am drinking fluids, and it just doesn't seem to be making a difference. And I'm trying to make sure that it's fluids that are going to help me stay hydrated. I have been drinking a lot of Gatorade, but I've been trying not to do it too much because I've been told that that's bad. Um, but, uh, but I did talk to the nurse practitioner about that and she said, get your fluids in. Doesn't matter if it's Gatorade, water, milk, whatever, just get, get fluids in. Um, obviously I need to stay away from like caffeinated beverages and, and the overly sugary drinks, but, uh, uh, but for the most part, yeah, that's, that's basically what I've been trying to do. Um, uh, and let's see, I have my oncologist appointment this Wednesday and I'll ask a few questions about like, maybe he could, I don't know, get me in touch with somebody who knows about like how, how to get me regularly hydrated and so forth. Uh, I don't know, but, um, uh, like a nutritionist or something. I don't know. Also, uh, I definitely plan on having the conversation about hospice with him. Now, I do not want to leave this apartment. I'm comfortable here. I want to stay here uh, even up to the end. I do not want to have to go to some facility and be surrounded by other people who are going to die. Uh, I just wouldn't be comfortable with that. I need to be in a comfortable place, a familiar place, and that's here. Now, my dad is moving in uh, November the 2nd, I think it's, I think that's correct. Um, and he'll be able to help me out around the, the apartment a lot. So really, I would only need a hospice nurse to come in, maybe like, I don't know, check, give me checkups and, and I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what they would do, um, but just, you know, whatever is necessary to to get me as comfortable as possible. Um, but that's the conversation I plan on having on Wednesday with the oncologist. 
Um, I've just been trying to make it through each day, just very, very tired. I feel sick. I have, I've continued to dry heave, not a lot. Um, but like this morning I got up and it just kind of hit me right away and I felt like super, super dry. And I think that's a big part of it. I think that, uh, dehydration is a big part of why I'm dry heaving, uh, <coughs> uh, cause nausea and vomiting can be a sign of dehydration. Um, and, uh, and so it's like, um, that and, and I've got, I, I'm getting bad cramps in my legs. Um, like Charlie horses, like really, really bad ones. Um, and, uh, I'm pretty sure that's also from dehydration. So it's like, I just need to get, I don't know, like maybe if a, if a hospice nurse, nurse can come in with like IV fluids on a regular basis or something, I don't know. Cause just me, re like just regularly drinking is, is not enough. And I'm trying, I'm trying my best to, to, you know, drink as often as possible, but it's just so hard. Um, especially when I feel sick all the time and I'm eating, but I'm not like, I'm not having meals. I'm just having like a bowl of cereal here, PBJ there. Uh, most complicated thing I had recently was mac and cheese. I'm just, I don't know. It's just really hard. Um, I really look forward to my dad getting in here and just having him around will be, you know, a huge comfort. And then, and he can help me out with the menial chores and things that I just, I just can't do for myself anymore. It's so hard. Like going to the hospital Friday, uh, yesterday for the paracentesis, which is, well, it wasn't even a paracentesis in, in, in a sense, because I already have a drain, so they didn't need to like they didn't need to inject me with lidocaine. Uh, they didn't they didn't need to you know uh, shove a catheter in there. They just took me up to bottles and, and drained me out, which is great. Um, but uh, when I went Friday, just the simple act of going to the hospital and and walking in and going to the right department was just so exhausting. And when I was in the waiting room. When I was in the, <clears throat> when I was in the waiting room, I just, I lay down on a couch because I just, I, I couldn't, I didn't have the energy to stay sitting up. <sighs> um, anyway, so that's, that's where I am on that front. Um, I noticed in previous, in comments on the previous video, uh, asking about pain. Um, I'm not really in pain anymore. Uh, that has since worn off. So, um, like, yeah, the site isn't, it isn't great to touch. Uh, but I can now sleep on my right side, uh, which is a very important thing for me. Cause it's like, I mentioned in previous videos that I, that I, I can't sleep on my back and not being able to sleep on my right side. I'm left only to my left side. And I was worried about pressure sores, which can get really, really bad. I'm working in a group home. I've seen pressure sores and they can get really bad, like necrotic tissue and tunneling. And it's bad, very, very bad. So, um, I was very concerned about that, but now I'm able to roll over onto my right side gingerly. And as long as I, you know, do it carefully, uh, and I, I can be comfortable like that. So I'm not. I'm not only sleeping on one side that's, that's going to, you know, uh, get all that pressure. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I can think of. Um, uh, oh yeah, tomorrow it, my story goes up. Uh, so I will post a video about that with a link in the description so that anyone who wants to listen to it can. Um, I warn you, it is a horror story, so it might not be for the faint of heart. Uh, just keep that in mind going into it. Um, but, uh, but I, I think, I think people will like it. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, 
Uh, and I think, I think that's it. That's all I can think of for this video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. Uh, like I said, I'll update tomorrow. And uh, probably just a very short reaction video. And then that's it. But um, yeah, that's it for now. So until next time, take care.